okay hey what's up guys beards are here and today i'm coming back at you with another destiny 2 video and you guys already know what this is about if you read the title luna's howl and now forgotten is about to get a nerf in the season of opulence and basically what they're going to do is i'm reading i'm reading from uh one of the 12 notes our current plan is to make luna's howl and not forgotten the only 150 round per minute precision hand cannons they will maintain some aspect of their current behavior while taking on the firing speed and damage of the 150 rpm hand cannons magnificent howl will also be adjusted so that it increases only body shot damage resulting in two headshots one body shot kill magnificent howl will still give an advantage due to requiring less precision hits for optimal time to kill kind of think that's redundant in my opinion because it's more skillful to get headshots rather than body shot damage and you know those weapons were pinnacle weapons that were in competitive so you kind of had to have to have some sort of skill unless you paid for it or we got a recov you kind of had to have to have some sort of skill to get them so i kind of thought that little champ was redundant but other than that i'm kind of fine with all the other champ but i just wondered how i don't <laughs> This is such a this is such a controversial topic to talk about because I'm somebody that don't support nerfs at all, like whatsoever on anything. If anything, I think they should have just made everything compete with those guns. Like they're a perfect blueprint of what a good gun should be in in PvP. They're like perfect blueprints. Like Gig, Gig said, what they should have done was, you know, remove Bloom on Council, tone down Rico on Council, add mid air accuracy outside of 150 hand cannons, readjust Flinch, and tone it down. That would have been a good substitute for all the other weapons. So, so like, not forgotten, Loon's Hawk will maintain their strength. You know, it'll kind of balance it out. They would have just made all those changes to the regular weapons. Also, um, one of the people, on, one of the employees on Twitter answered some other questions like he said the weapon retains the recoil animation of 180 round per minute precision hand cannons a change to max magnificent how prevents two tap kills exam players could get two headshots on one enemy to prevent magnificent how then defeat another just two shots okay about that this man bakken he <laughs> on the screen right now he made a tweet about that <laughs> that was so funny man i respect that dude that was the funniest thing i seen all day but <laughs> No, I'm sorry. That was that was funny. That was actually a good one. Also, um, Hush kind of summarized how I feel about this. He was saying, uh, I'm not really f a big, you know, he's not a fan of them, but I think buffing other weapons to ma match the not forgotten Lewis how would have been better decision. People just hate to see their favorite weapons nerfed. Buffs are always walking with me with open arms. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like I, I put down Luna's how right when Last Word came out, and I like I never got not forgotten. Now I'm really not against their nerf, and I really don't want to get it. But I put uh, Luna Child down a while, a while ago to use last word. So I just personally think, if anything, like they said, just make everything able to compete with them. Because honestly, nerfs are what killed Destiny 1. And you remember how Destiny 1's uh, meta left off with? Like it was that fusion grenade, sidearm, icebreaker. You know what I'm talking It was a terrible meta we left off with Destiny 1. That happened because of all these nerfs. And I know what people in the comments are gonna say. Oh, you 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 just use Luna's hell, blah 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 blah. No, I don't. I cannot stand those guns. Like I'm one of the people. Like that people say that it needs to be nerfed. I wouldn't say they're wrong for saying that because those guns were kind of really really strong. Even though you know you kind of had to have some sort of skill to get them. Because I, for one, one thing I can say, I don't think pinnacle weapons, crucible wise, should be nerfed. Like no, none of the crucible pinnacle weapons should be nerfed. Because they're all of them so far. What we had, which is only Recluse, Regis Blossor, Regis Claymore, Luna's How Not Forgotten, they're a per and, and uh, Mountaintop. I forgot about that. They're the perfect example of what, like I said earlier, what Crucible weapons should be. PvP weapons, how good they're supposed to be. They're perfect examples of that. That's like that's how sh they should be. They should be good. They should be hard to counter. So imagine if Bungie took that and made implied it to every other weapon, like Ace of Spades. Uh, better devils, you know, all the other weapons that no one uses. If they took that same thing and applied it, every weapon would be good. There'd be more variety. But I'm just saying, but I think Bungie just instead of balancing all the other weapons, they're just choosing to take the easier route, which would be nerf Luna's How Not Forgotten. So that's that's personally what I think about that. That's what I think is going on here. They just think it'll be easier just to nerf those two instead of balancing everything else. But anyway. That's all I had to say about this. 
we will we we'll, we'll see what happens when next season comes. We'll see what happens. We can't really say anything now, but we'll see what happens with everything. We'll see how the meta shifts. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe for more, and you know, put some comments in the comments what you think about all this. Like, I want to hear your thoughts about this. I am out. <laughs>